Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I used to do product research for Amazon FBA before I had the Jungle Scout web app. So we're only using Jungle Scout Lite today. So let's jump right into it. We're going to open up Amazon, just the home page. Amazon.com. This is a product I was looking at a long time ago, and then I think I like bookmarked it or every time I search it for some reason it goes to that <laughs> okay um, yep Amazon homepage and then in this drop down menu here we're gonna pick any department any department that makes sense at least we're not selling books or fine art but we're gonna go into something like maybe home and kitchen okay and then we're just gonna type negative gibberish what that's gonna do going to pull up everything that what you typed isn't and since what you typed isn't anything it's going to pull up everything does that make sense following along here um, if you've already seen that method don't worry because it's still different than just that that's not everything and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into a subcategory so all these categories over here are within home and kitchen you're going to pick one of those so say we go into home and kitchen and then we go into, let's see, let's pick one. Maybe kitchen and dining. Okay. And you're going to keep going in. So now we'll do bakeware. And then we'll go in even further. Um, pizza pans, stones. Okay, maybe like kids baking supplies. Okay, this is exactly what we want. See how there's nothing else we could choose from? That's perfect. So that means you've gone all the way in. And now you're seeing products with, look at this, one review, 29 reviews, nine reviews, 125. And since it's sorted by featured, these are actually good selling products with small amount of reviews. That's exactly what we want. We're going to go to Jungle Scout, Light. You don't need the pro one. Light will work fine. If you don't know what Jungle Scout is, you pull it up on any Amazon search result or product listing. And it's going to give you the revenue and reviews and monthly sales of that product, which is completely necessary and, yeah, literally necessary to be able to do Amazon FBA. So if you don't have a product research tool, I would recommend this one. It's what I've used the entire time. I've launched a product with $1,300 that made me $44,000 using this tool alone, which is incredible. So if you don't have it, there will be a link in the description for it. Um, so let's check it out. So my criteria, we'll go over this really quick for a product. I want to see 250 sales a month or more, preferably 300, which is 10 a day. I want to see a revenue over 3000 to 4000. I'm not super picky with revenue. Um, just because if you're making, if you start up a product with $750 to $1,000 in the first month, that brings you back an additional $1,000, aka $3,000 in revenue, or even more than that, that's awesome. So you're doubling your investment. So I'm not going to say I want a $20,000 revenue product. If it's doing that and I can compete, excellent. That's like similar to my first product. But reviews, I want to see under 50 realistically, because we're starting my whole premise of this channel is how can you start for the least amount of money possible. My goal is to get you guys doing Amazon FBA with $1,000, slightly less or slightly more. Um, if you have more, awesome. It'll be a lot easier. But that's what I started with, so I want to try and get the people that have only that much of the ability to start. And by doing that, you need a very low competition product because you don't have the resources to compete with a high competition product. So this is like the ideal thing right here. We have nine reviews, and we're doing about 300 sales per month, $5,000 in revenue. That's awesome. Also above that is 30 reviews doing $20,000. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sell these two together? No, no, anybody? Um, okay. And then we have 59, what is that? Plastic knives for kids. Okay, so this isn't really one market. So what you're going to want to do is find a revenue to review ratio that you like. I really like this one right here, 5,000 a month with nine reviews. And let's, let's just click on that because that title is not really optimized very well either. 
So a bad listing of a competitor is a great thing for you because that means you could come in with a great listing and do very well and beat them. Okay, so look, they, this is Keepa right here. For those of you who don't have this, you're like, how did you get that to pop up on Amazon? <laughs> this is a free uh, Chrome extension. I'll link it in the description. Totally free. And all it does is it pulls up the sales rank history. So you could literally see where they ranked. They were doing okay here. And then here to here, the lower the rank, so the lower the green line to the bottom, that is better. That means they're selling more. If the rank is higher, that means they're selling less. And then the price also, the blue line is price. So look, they're doing this escalating price um, launch here. So we have $13.99, $14.99, $15.99, $16.99. Who can guess what they'll go to next? And then review count is down here. So I'm going to say they got illegitimate reviews. It's a good way to see how they launched review-wise. We have one review on November 26th. And then on November 27th, we have five reviews. Seems like a little strange to me, don't you think? Yeah, that's okay. So they were selling perfectly fine over here with no reviews, which is awesome. So that means this whole time that they were in 20,000 to all the way up to 10,000 sales rank, they were getting sales with absolutely no reviews. It shows that that is possible. So let's try and check out the market as a whole. So if you go to all departments and then do maybe like apron, apron for kids. Let's see what it comes up with. Apron for kids, it's the third one down, awesome. Let's check this out. Don't get scared away from a couple people with 100 views or more, that's okay. As long as the rest of the market looks good. Yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here, guys. So we have 193 reviews doing 21,000, 155 doing 36. Um, that looks like what we we're just looking at. Did he maybe try and list it twice? Is that what he's doing? Is that a different seller? Um, yeah, that's a totally different seller selling the same exact kit. And they're actually doing a lot better for some reason. Probably because the review count. Um, Shows the demand is definitely here. So what I'm seeing, this is like ideal. Monthly sales all the way down, this whole page, all the way down to listing 14 are above 300 with the exception of this one listing, which is so close I would count it. That shows that the demand to review ratio is awesome. So just because there's a couple people with 100 doesn't really bother me because here we have zero reviews doing 4,000. We have 37 reviews doing 2,500. We have 20 reviews doing 7,200. So review-wise, there's definitely room to compete. The sales are there. The sales are not all stuck up top and no one down here is doing good. The whole first page and even onto the second page is making sales, which is definitely something you want to see. So now we have to start thinking, what is a way we could differentiate this product? What do we see here? We see Plain colors are the first, oh, that's sponsored. So we'll start from here. Cupcakes in pink. And that's a child's apron, okay. And then we have this kit here, a small oven mitt, cookie cutters, the little kit here, chef's hat and the apron. That's doing really well. He's doing like 30,000 a month. 36,000 a month, awesome. It's incredible. How's that one doing? Wow, with only 44 reviews, just this cupcake apron is doing 14,000 a month. Let's open that. I'm interested in that one, honestly. He's competing with people that have several hundred reviews and he's got 44. How long has he been selling? About a year now. It's a good thing to look at. And his reviews were gained not organically, it looks like. Oh, that was in the last three months. So for the longest time, check this out. So he's actually at the same, almost the same sales rank now that he was at the beginning of the year when he only had four reviews. Five reviews, he's doing the same, pretty much the same numbers. I don't know why I'm pointing because that's, I'll do it with the mouse. But yeah, from here to here, all these sales are with five or six reviews. And then we have a definitely either 
inorganic growth of reviews here or just a lot of people did reviews. I can't say it looks kind of inorganic to me, like maybe you did a service or something for reviews against terms and condition, but the point I'm making is he was still competing back here and this whole time with only four, which you guys can definitely get within the first couple of weeks of selling. So it looks like he's doing a differentiation of a bunch of them. So let's see, you, Jungle Scout will actually tell you which set is selling the best. Um, let's just let it load there. Okay, so according to these numbers, he's doing, oh my God, this one listing is doing hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not close to more than that. So just this one alone, this single variation right here is doing 13,000. The apron for women with flowers on it is doing 26,000. This apron is doing 16,000. The apron for kid girls is doing 13,000, 30,000, 15,000. Okay, so I think we see a pattern here. The one that has the same matching one for mom and daughter are doing really well. Look, 40,000, 25,000. I can't believe this is all in one listing with 44 reviews. This is blowing my mind. Um, so what we could do is look on Alibaba for maybe a father-son set because they're kind of dominating the mom-daughter apron market. Let's see if we could do um, like um, boys apron. Let's just try that. Simple enough. Okay, custom painting apron for boys. So that means you could put your logo on it or you could design what it looks like, um, maybe a design from Fiverr, a custom one with trucks on it or something. Um, so it looks like it's about 30 cents <laughs> to a dollar, that's awesome. And it can be customized right here, fabric color is customized. Um, custom drawing painting, okay, let's see. So there's one with Mario on it. And looks like all of the colors you can get are right here. So this is a fully customizable one. And it says minimum order quantity is 500. Don't worry about that because you can always just say, hey, look, I'm looking to add a new product to my store. I'm interested in your product here. I want to start with just an order of 250 to test the product out. Nine times out of the 10, the supplier will be like, okay, that's no problem. We can do 250 units for you. And so let's say it's a dollar. Since you're doing um, minimum order quantity, they might say a little bit higher price for you. Say it's $1.25 for the apron, and then 50 cents to get it customized with whatever you want on it. Um, so we're at a $1.75 unit cost. Super light, maybe shipping's 50 cents. So we'll say you're at two, $2.25 maybe. And let's say you just make the re revenue of this one listing. So we'll pull up AMZ calculator. This is a calculator, let's do two, um, 275, or no, 225 we said. So that's $8,500 in profit per month. Every single time you sell one, you're making 641. In addition to this, so you're actually making 866 per unit every time you sell one of these, and he's selling how many per month? 986 that's awesome 50 a day almost that is incredible and that's a very low startup cost so if we go up to here to calculator say it was 225 are all in cost um, times we wanted to do an initial order of 250 it's only 562 dollars to launch this product but say you wanted to do a startup order of 300. Really, you don't need more than that if you're just testing the product. That'll last you a couple weeks and you could always reorder if you see you're gonna run out. $675 launch. And then say it cost you $350 in PPC to get on the first page for seven days. That's a very high budget, that's $50 a day. I usually do about 20 a day. Um, not times, plus, nope, what are you doing? 350. 
plus what was that, 675 thousand dollar and 25 startup costs it is definitely possible <laughs> it's even cheaper than what i launched my first product for so that's an awesome find all you'd have to be worried about is how can you differentiate so the market is strong there are some reviews in it but if you came in i don't see a lot of i see none on the first page for boys slash fathers which is crazy to me there's definitely a lot of young boys that cook yeah, that's, that's definitely something you could capitalize on. That's a very good, good market. So basically what we did, let's wrap it up here. You go into any, we'll restart here, Amazon. Go into any subcategory or any category to start. So you could just drop this menu down and say we'll go into garden and outdoor. Um, you do the negative gibberish. You guys have probably seen that technique before. Um, okay. And then go pest control and then you go in a sec uh, a little bit farther traps and then you go okay that's the end so this is a pretty high demand market but you get the example you could do that with any category um, and any subcategory so obviously main categories you want to stick with are going to be stuff like patio lawn and garden kitchen and dining, well, I guess that's home and kitchen, um, sports and outdoors, health and household, um, scientific and industrial. Let's see another one. Pet supplies is okay, kind of competitive. But yeah, you guys, if you um, office products, if you go to my last video, I explain all my criteria for finding um, what categories you want to be searching through. But I think I'm going to actually wrap it up there. So if you found any... Um, any reason that you didn't understand something or there was something you wanted to comment to comment about, go ahead and I will be sure to answer you. But um, if you haven't subscribed already, also do that. Hit that up. Hit the, sub the little bell button. It will be pretty nice so that you get notified whenever I post videos. <laughs> but um, yeah, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. We found an awesome product. This I will definitely be looking into. You can look into it as well. Um, you just have to figure out how to differentiate. So if you could get maybe the kit, the boy's apron, the dad's apron, I think you could have a very good listing for a very cheap startup. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.